20 minus negative 1 over 17 minus negative 8. Over 25, somebody agree? Hello. Okay. 21 over 25. Okay, we got x1, y1, x2, y2. So it's going to look like negative 13 minus 13. Negative 16 minus 18. Thirteen over seventeen. Thirteen over seventeen. Somebody agree? Yeah. Okay, seven is going to be x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay, so it's going to be negative 15 minus negative 8 over 18 minus 4. Seven over twenty-two. Somebody agree? Mm -hmm. Okay. And last one of these, it's going to be x one, y one, x two, y two. So negative nineteen minus negative twelve over negative one minus fourteen. Um, I know I have a different answer for seven. For seven? What did you guys get for seven? I got negative one over two. You got negative one over two? Somebody else? I got three over fourteen. Three over fourteen? Okay, so then everybody go back through and type. I got twenty-three over fourteen. <laughs> twenty three over fourteen. Yeah, I Okay, erase. No, you can't like go back and look. Erase and restart. Because if you just go back and look, you're gonna your brain just automatically sees the same. Okay, I know that mine's written down correctly. I know that because I just looked at it. I have seven over fifteen. I got negative one over two. Negative one over two. Yeah, negative one over two. Okay, so then we're gonna go with negative one over two. How do you put it in? Like this. Oh no, it's negative one over two. Where'd you get eighteen? Where did I get you? Wait, because 18 right here. What are you yapping about? Hey, my camera's on. Can you be nice? Okay, so are we three and one over two? Negative one over two? Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, number nine. Okay, we've got that all, so type that in. Seven over 15. Seven over 15? This, if this just doesn't, I was literally going to say it to you, but then I thought, no, you guys are good. Do I have the paper? I don't have all the answers memorized. So, like, I just get up here and I, like, write and help you guys out. But other than that, like, I rely on you to type on the calculator. So, if you think that I'm, like, going to be like, oh, that's what. No, I'm not. Sometimes I know, but most of the time I, I have no idea. I know how to do it, but. Can I scroll? Okay, today we're really going to try to work on the back side. So I crossed quite a few off yesterday. Um, today we're going to try to like work through them. Um, okay, I did, uh, and I'm apprehensive. I'll leave it up to you guys. <coughs> I did ask, so you made the comment like, is there an easier way to do this? There's got to be an easier way. I did ask a math teacher 
It might be easier for some, it might not. So if you want me to teach you a different way to do it, I gladly will. If you want to start the way we did it yesterday, you totally can do that too. What do you guys want to do? No way. I don't know that it's easier. A different way. You want to try a different way? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Worst case, it doesn't work. Okay. I mean, it works for sure, but... Okay, so if we look at this, we're still going to set it up the same regardless. So we got x1, y1, x2, y2, and this is my m. Okay, so we're still going to set up our equation. So we got, what is my y2? What is my y2? One. Y. y minus my y1. Nine. Nine over x2. Negative a minus x1. Negative 7 equals, what is my M? 7. 7. Okay, and here's where it starts to change a little bit. So, your first step is going to be to reduce whichever one of the fraction parts you can. Okay, which is going to be which one? The top or the bottom? Which one? The bottom. Okay, so type it on your calculator. Negative 8 minus negative 7. What do you get? Negative 1. Negative 1. So this is going to look like y minus 9 over 1 equals 7. Okay. And here's where we start the new way. Okay. Oh, did you say this was negative 1? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I very distinctly wrote my 7 different because I need a bottom part of the fraction. So we're going to say 7 over 1 just so it looks like we have a fraction on both sides. Okay. Yeah. Putting a 1 over a number does not change anything. Okay, from here, and again, we're trying it. We're going to do this like the cross multiply and divide method. Okay, so these ones are going to get multiplied together, and these ones are going to get multiplied together. Okay, it does not matter which ones you do first. Where it gets a little bit confusing for some people is the 1 has to get multiplied by every piece here. So, it really looks like, for this blue part, it's going to look like 1 parenthesis y minus 9, and you need to distribute to both pieces, okay, for that side. Okay, so for the blue side, you're going to get 1 times y, 1 y, 1 times negative 9, negative 9, equals, and we're going to do the other side, 1 times negative 7, negative 7. Okay, and now we're going to solve. So who needs moved? The nine. The nine needs moved. Okay, and negative seven plus nine? Two. Is two. And then what needs to happen? Divide by one. Okay. First of all, I don't like that word because what's easy for some, is that easy for everybody? It's not. Because then then people start thinking, oh my gosh, she said it's easy. Why can't I get it? Okay, so that's just an FYI. I hate to, like, you just happen to be the one. But I hate that word because me and my daughter were just having this conversation about some people should get an A, right? Some people struggle to get a D. So, like, my kid, I'm like, why do you have a B, right? Because she's a straight A student. She should. If she has a B, then I mean she's being lazy. But I have the neighbor girl, and she, like, does her dangest to get a, B, a D. Like, that's just, it's just, school's not her thing. All right, so here's where people are going to make mistakes. It's going to be this part, okay? So please, please be careful. Pay attention. You have to distribute to both pieces, okay? That's going to be everything else you guys should be able to do. It's going to be that that is a little bit, I guess, more concerning, okay? So look at number 13. We're going to go ahead and label x1, y1 x2, y2, and m. Okay, what is my y2? 9, Nine minus y1? 5. 5 over x2? Negative 2. x2. x, x minus x1? Negative 3. Negative 3 equals, what's my m? 4. Okay, this one has multiple things that can be, like, reduced. So on the top, we have 9 minus 5. What is 9 minus 5? 4. We're going to get a 4 for the top. Okay, this says x minus minus 3. 
So that is really going to be, what's a minus minus? Double negative. I know it's a double negative, but it's going to be a plus. Okay? And it really needs to be equals 4 what? 4 over 1. Okay, we have to put the 1 so that way we can cross multiply. Okay, and again, does it matter which side you do the butterfly first? No, it does not. Okay, so pick one and go with it. Okay, 4 times 1 is 4 equals, now we're going to do the other side. Okay, and this, again, we got to be careful. Okay, this is really what it's looking like. 4 parentheses x plus 3. Okay, so 4 times x? 4x. 4x. 4 times 3 is 12. Okay, now look at this. Who needs moved? The 12 needs moved. Four minus 12? Negative eight. Negative eight. And then we got four X, okay? Now who needs moved? The four. The four. Negative eight divided by four? Okay, 15, we got x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay, my y2, what's my y2? 6 minus y1, negative 7 over x2, x minus x1, negative 8 equals, what's my m? 13 over 5. Okay, so do we have to put a 1 under that one? No. No, why not? Because it's already fraction. Yeah, it's, he's got a bottom piece to go around. What is the bottom piece? 5. Five. Okay, so if we look at the slope of the other two, they didn't have a fraction at all, so we had to make it be a fraction. So on this one, we don't have to add the one. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start that reduction part. So 6 minus negative 7. Perfect. 13. X minus minus 8. eight. It's going to be X plus 8 equals 13 over 5. Okay, and then we're going to cross multiply. 13 times 5, 65. Okay, and then this other part's going to look like 13 parentheses x plus 8. Okay, so 13x, and what is 13 <coughs> times 8? 104. 104. Somebody agree? Okay. Okay, then who needs moved? 104. Okay, 65 minus 104? Negative 40. Negative 40? Yeah. Are you sure? I don't think that's right. right. That's not right. Negative 39. 39? Yeah, negative 39. Okay. You're good. I wrote it, and then I was like, oh, I don't know. Okay, and then what needs to happen? Uh, three? Negative three. Okay, I didn't want to show you until we were done with this. Because if I would have showed you, then you guys would have just not even did what you needed to do. Okay, look at how this one has a 13 on the top and a 13 on the bottom. Really, what we're trying to get is this one to be equal to this one. So I need a 13 over 5 here because I have a 13 over 5 here. So what plus 8 would give me 5? Negative 3 plus 8 gives me. Okay, and it gets sketchy because on some, you got like some super negatives going on and it really makes it like, eh. 
okay? But essentially that's what's happening. So like you can kind of look up here too. And some, again, are gonna be easier than others. But like if we, and it's easier now because you know it's negative two, but like here we're trying to get four over one essentially. So what plus three gives me one? Negative two. Negative two. But not everybody's gonna be all like. I realized that yesterday when we were doing the Yeah, but it makes it like on some a really difficult to like figure out what the heck is going on. Okay, because uh, like if we're looking at a blank one, like just staring at this picture, there's no way. You know what I mean? Once you get it set up, you might be able to figure it out. You might not. Okay, so X1, Y1, X2, Y2, and this is my M. I think it's easier on the ones where there's fractions though. Okay, so we got Y minus 8 over negative 6 minus negative 2 equals 7 over 2. Okay, on the top, can that be reduced? No. no, that one's stuck the way it is. Okay, what about the bottom? Negative six minus negative two. Yeah, so these turn into a positive, but what is the negative four? And then seven over two. Okay, and this one is the one I'm talking about where it's kind of hard because like the two doesn't match up with the four. So then you know it's already on a scale and then we got a negative here. So like on some, it makes it really hard to try to like envision what's going on with the problem. Okay, so we're gonna cross multiply and divide this very first one. I need to, it's really looking like two parentheses y minus eight. Okay, so two times y, two y, two times negative eight. Negative 16. Negative 16. Okay, negative 4 times 7. Negative what? 28. 28. Okay, who needs moved? The negative 16. So I get 2y, negative 28 plus 16. Negative 12. Negative 12? Yeah. Okay, and then what? Divide. Divide. Okay, the rest of the sheet is for you guys to do. Go through and get it done. 